everyone, my name is Lexi. I'm a naturalist that works for Baltimore Woods Nature Center in Marcellus, New York. This week's animal of the week is something that most people would probably consider a creepy crawly. And while I would agree with that statement, I also think they're pretty cool too. All right, time for the big reveal. The animal of the week is millipedes. These weird but wonderful creatures have been around for millions of years. In fact, around 345 million years ago during the Carboniferous period, there was a relative of millipedes that was likely over six feet long. Luckily, millipedes aren't nearly that big today. Millipedes are often mistaken for insects, but they are actually a type of arthropod called myriapods. They have a tough exoskeleton divided into multiple body segments with many pairs of jointed legs. You can see how each segment has two pairs of legs. This distinguishes millipedes from their centipede relatives, as centipedes only have one pair of legs per segment. There are over 10,000 species of millipedes worldwide, most of which are detrivores. That means that they eat decaying plant matter this is a very important role in the ecosystem because they break down and return nutrients to the soil for plants and microbes to use. Millipedes prefer moist and dark areas under logs, leaf litter, or rocks. When feeling threatened, they curl up in defense. Some species of millipedes go a little further than just curling up. They produce toxins such as cyanide to deter predation from shrews, birds, or insects. This millipede has bright yellow or orange coloration. This warns predators not to eat them. When threatened, it emits a smell reminiscent of maraschino cherries or almonds, indicating once again to a predator that it is toxic. Now, some of you might be getting the heebie-jeebies watching this millipede crawl along my hand. But unlike centipedes, millipedes won't bite or sting you, and any of the species that produce toxins are generally harmless to humans. Just try to resist the temptation to eat one. Now, if you're gonna be handling uh, millipedes, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you return it to the spot that you found it. They can be rather particular about the soils that they are in, and make sure you wash your hands too. Or you can simply watch this fascinating creature crawl along the forest floor. By now you're probably thinking, wow, myriapods are so cool. I haven't even gotten to the best part yet, but we'll have to wait until nightfall to find out. Some species of millipedes glow under ultraviolet light. Scientists are not sure why millipedes fluoresce under UV light, or if they can even see UV light themselves. Whatever this adaptation is for, it's pretty cool to see, isn't it? Thank you for joining me for this week's Animal of the Week. I hope you enjoyed learning about millipedes. Stay connected with us through social media or email us at connect at baltimorewoods.org if you have any questions. Thank you again and we'll see you next time.